डू यू गाइज नो इन आ कार एट अ टाइम मोर देन हंड्रेड स्मॉल और लार्ज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स सिस्टम आर प्रेजेंट एंड मोस्ट ऑफ दिस सिस्टम आर कनेक्टेड डायरेक्टली और इनडायरेक्टली इन वन वे और नदर Now virtualized it there is a car and it has an airbag control system which is controlled according to the vehicle motion monitoring system if vehicle motion monitoring experiences a sudden break or impact the airbag control system will be turned on for your understanding let's say airbag control system is at node A and vehicle motion monitoring system is at node B and node B is situated at the front of the car and node A is distributed on every seat of this vehicle and so node b and node a are connected directly to each other but now let's say there is a one more node c and node c is a car backlight now node c and node b are connected in a way if the vehicle motion experiences a certain break then the backlight has to be turned on immediately so car's backlight is at the back so node c is at the back of the car and node b is at the front of the car so we have to connect node c and node a also now wiring to connect the node b and node c it would be required more to take it from front of the car to back whereas if the node b is at the center of the car then the connection of node a and node c would be comparatively easy to do and fewer wires would be used you can see the electronics systems used in a car are distributed across the vehicle and the arrangement of these electronics systems their architecture of replacement and their connection is what is going to be the topic of today's video how the car electronics systems are connected what is going to be the main uh, concept of this video surrounded by large scale technological requirements aid as connected vehicles software defined cars vehicle to vehicle and electrification is and etc established oems and semiconductor companies are innovating and differentiating the architecture designs for the arrangement of these electronics systems which are used in a car in the last video and blog we have learned about different electronical and electrical systems that are used in the car now we are going to dwell on the architecture on how the different electronic and electrical systems are arranged in an automotive vehicle E by E architecture is the terminology used for the arrangement of different electronic and electronic electrical systems used in a car. It organizes and integrates vehicles electrical electronic systems including hardware and software components to ensure they all work together seamlessly. It involves the design of arrangement of different electronic and electrical systems that control various functions of a vehicle. these functions are which i have stated in the earlier video like body and control domain infotainment chassis domain power drain and etc e by e architecture is an arrangement of different components of a vehicle all combined to make up the vehicle architecture and these components are electronic hardware network communications software applications and software components and the wiring that is required to connect different hardware systems in a car okay so now we have understand what is e by e architecture now let's dwell into the part that why do we need e by e architecture concept in automotive vehicles integration of computing technology into every aspect of the vehicle transform how automotive oems approach design engineering and manufacturing of automotive electrical systems concurrently the introduction of sensors into the vehicle architecture further accelerated the need for greater computing power to process and analyze the data the advancement towards connected cars led to a diverse in how car makers approach the communication architecture of a vehicle electronics the result, the result of this innovation and integration is a tremendously complex system of electronic control units sensors actuators and wiring to connect it all together the size and complexity of these architectures create new challenges for automotive oems and their suppliers in this environment the importance of e by e architecture is very important and the new generation of automotive consumers expect constant internet connectivity a fully customizable driving and the riding experience as well as personalized entertainment and functionalities simultaneously consumers expect to feel safe and secure with the over the air and real time applications that they can download from the vehicle app store in fact in fact the vehicle is no longer the focal point in the consumer's mind 
rather it is the mobility service or mobility experience that it can provide different aspects of our e by e architecture are sensors microcontrollers microprocessors networking protocols wiring and power distribution all aspects of e by e architecture occupy a larger role in enabling core vehicle functionalities as a result all aspects have grown in sophistication to meet these increased demands microprocessors microcontrollers have become more powerful to process the data coming in from larger sensor arrays using the increasing increasing capable softwares meanwhile vehicle networks have to manage the communication in the integration systems of sensors and controllers surrounded by large scale technological change have forced established oems to innovate and differentiate via the e by e architecture for automotive cars and such systems this means creating architecture that are scalable across vehicle platforms flexible to future technologies and reliable over extended lives in the field now based on these technological changes and advancements there are three categories or types of e by e architecture in automotive flat architecture domain architecture and zonal architecture up until the past decade vehicle electronics used of flat architecture and since last 5 years domain and zonal architecture is what is in the trending market right now in the context of automotive engineering a flat architecture refers to a system where embedded electronic control units that is ecus are acting as an individual system the flat architecture was characterized by a limited communication between the ecus that are scattered throughout the vehicle as you can see from the photo the communication between the issues is not directly possible uh, as you can see simple ideology in the 1970s was to automate the parts of the vehicle to introduce new features in the car and implement them via ecu integration everything needed to implement in the electrical and electronic systems of the car from sensing to actuation is connected to an ecu and ecus are built on some microcontrollers or microprocessors and they are normally connected via a bus such as scan and once implemented the software is only updated if a problem is detected and only after considerable effort of testing and a vehicle recall this approach did not optimize for wiring and the ecus operated together in a limited way this approach was used until the past decade when the integration of computing technology was not there in every aspect of the vehicle to virtualize flat architecture it somewhat looks like this current e by e architecture primarily employs a domain architecture that brings together the domains of the issues that perform similar processing automotive vehicle is divided into five domains that cover all the electrical electronic components of the car and these domains are hv or ev domain also termed as power train chassis domain body control domain hmi domain and telematics domain so in a domain architecture arrangement is based on these domains and all of these domains are connected to the central gateway for communication with each other as shown in the photo for example the ecus of the engine system are integrated into the power train domain and ecus for sliding doors and power windows are integrated into the body control domain both the power domain controller and Uh, body control domain are connected to the central gateway thereby reducing the number of issues and wires and reducing the number of parts also contributes to reduction in the vehicle's weight and development cost examples of new vehicles using domain architecture are Volkswagen ID3 using a domain architecture for battery management power electronics thermal management vehicle dynamics and a cockpit controller for infotainment Mercedes Benz S class features centralized domain controller for the engine transmission chassis and the comfort systems enabling convenient access to the vehicle data and updates BMW X7 features a centralized domain controller known as the integrated chassis management IC ICM responsible for controlling various functionalities such as driver assistance park assistance and remote control monitoring the approach was to divide the vehicle into domains areas with common functionality such as power train chassis domain body control telematics and hmi the electrical electronic systems of each domain is connected to the corresponding domain controller 
and then connect these domain controllers to the central gateway for communication between different functional domains. However, in Sonar architecture, the car contains around 70 to 100 ECUs and in future vehicles, OEMs and semiconductor companies want to consolidate these into fewer units so that less wiring is used and more flexibility is there to upgrade the vehicle with new technologies. How far this consolidation should go is a point of major debate, but here comes the zonal architecture. The idea behind zonal architecture is that instead of organizing the arrangement of automotive, electrical and electronic parts by domains, a zonal approach organizes the arrangement according to the location where these parts are to be fitted. That is, in the case of zonal architecture, automotive vehicle is divided into different zones according to the different locations of the car. This photo illustrates the better understanding and clarity of this zonal architecture. The zones can have different electrical and electronic parts of different domains depending upon the location of the car. So there is a zone module A, B, C and D and these all zone modules can have different parts of the different functional domains of the car. So integrated issues that connect domains enable information exchange and integrated control which was previously performed separately for each domain which reduces the number of parts and development goals and this is achievable by the zonal architecture. Examples of new vehicles using zonal architecture is BMW iNext features five main zonal controls by domain controllers including powertrain, braking and driver assistance. Porsche Taycan it used a zonal approach to integrate the electrical and electronic systems with separate control units for the powertrain, chases, thermal management, instrument cluster and infotainment. Audi A8 features multiple domain controllers controlling various zones such as infotainment, dr driver assistance and chases control. The zonal e by e architecture concept is a technological evolution. It is a robust solution to meet the new generation of automotive vehicles and fit futuristic technologies into the vehicle. Develop the automotive industry to introduce new device classes. The vehicle server, which is the central compute, and the zonal gateway, which is the zonal controller. The zonal controller is the one that is connected to the different domainal domain controllers of the corresponding location and the, all these zonal controllers are connected to the central uh, gateway. This reduces the number of physical ECUs and enables the use of Ethernet and variety of flexible or hybrid communication network topologies. That's it for now. If you want to explore more about automotive technologies, check out these videos too. Till then, stay safe and share the video among your friends.